using Microsoft Whiteboard within Microsoft Teams online lessons can provide engaging and informative lessons for your students. Let's see how. You have the option to open the Microsoft Whiteboard app within the Microsoft Teams meeting and then this will allow you to invite students to collaborate on the Whiteboard. However, this means that you will need to create the content whilst in the online lesson. You may prefer instead to create your Whiteboard resource before your online lesson and then share the window in the Microsoft Teams meeting. You can then invite your students if you want them to edit the Whiteboard resources. Once students are invited, they will receive an email with a link to join the whiteboard. As the owner of the whiteboard, you can change and edit the permissions for each individual student by clicking on the pencil icon and choosing read only, if you want to prevent any changes occurring on the canvas. You can insert Bing search engine images onto the canvas such as the diagram of a neuron, and ask them to label or draw lines. You may want to take this a step further and create flowcharts, which help take students through a series of events or guide them through a topic. In this lesson, I was using the graph to show what happens in nerve cells. The graph was split into various sections, so notes could be written around it to help guide the students through the various stages. And in this example, I could place other diagrams around it to annotate them. Using Microsoft Whiteboard's highlighters and pen tools, key stages could be highlighted for the students. For more information about using the toolbar, Check out the link in the video description. Providing feedback on summative assessments, such as tests, can be easily done within Microsoft Whiteboard. You can insert a test's pages from a Microsoft Word or PDF file and then annotate on top of them. Again, using highlighting tools in Microsoft Whiteboard allows you to work on exam technique with the students easily and point out important information especially useful in remote lessons where it may be difficult for students to know exactly where to look on the screen. Since you have an infinite canvas, you also have plenty of space to draw annotations next to exam questions and this may help students understand concepts relating to exam questions more easily. You can also use sticky notes within the insert options to provide helpful visual tips for the students too. To learn more about how you can use sticky notes and other similar options within lessons or meetings, click on the suggestions at the end of this video or see the links in the description below. Click on one of the options here to continue to enhance your teaching and learning further and subscribe to the Teach Me channel so you know when more useful videos are released.